Hello everyone, this is Henry again and today I'm taking a look at another battle mat sent to me by Cigar Box Battles in America. A uh, great company and they very generously sent me another mat and this time it's very exciting primarily for naval gamers so let's take a look. So here we are ladies and gentlemen and this mat from Cigar Box Battles, uh, which at the moment on my table here is just folded to half its complete size. A little bit later I will open it up and put it on the floor so you can see it full size. But this is their Caribbean Waters Battle Mat and I think it's absolutely fabulous. Now you can probably tell um, there's still a few creases in it from transportation but the thing is with this water sea mat it doesn't really matter they actually look like waves don't they i think that that water effect is actually pretty astonishing and the slight variations in color of the water so you've got the greeny blue through sort of a sky blue to almost a dark turquoise color i think that is fabulously effective um let's get in a bit closer so you can see and it's just done with well, just a few kind of flecks. Um, reminds me a bit of, uh, do you remember tie-dyed clothing? Those of you that are old enough from back in the 1960s and 70s. Um, it's got that kind of effect, but I think that is pretty astonishing. Now, the ships obviously don't come with them out. I'll just put these on to show you uh, the scale. This is uh, These are Sails of Glory uh, size ships. So, yeah, there's my thumb. That's the... That's the size you're looking at there. But uh, what a great map to play a naval game on. That's fantastic. The the island there, that's actually from Hexon Terrain. It would normally be used as kind of impassable mountains or something like that. But I actually find them really useful to play the part of islands in a naval game. But I'm going to linger a bit on this because I think that that water effect on this mat you know makes it look like you're definitely out somewhere that's very sunny um a mixture of deeper and more shallow waters perhaps some coral going on underneath the surface again if i zoom in a bit here let's have a look if i move out of the light there you can see in this greeny blue section uh, that's pretty astonishing again the the, the mat beautiful quality printed on this sort of lovely soft fleece material that you could give it a quick iron or just rolling it up often gets rid of creases but i think that's a pretty astonishing effect um i really 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 like this obviously you you could use it just for sea battles you could use it for sea approaching a beach and then use a different mat or something else to um simulate the beach so here we are as i did before with the full mat spread out on the floor because i haven't got enough room on my table at the moment because it's covered in other things but here we go i think that looks fabulous i've left one of the ships on there to give you that impression of scale again that's a sails of glory ship so let's have a look at the dimensions so the length is where are we that's about 76, 77 inches, 194 centimetres by width-wise, oh, what have we got? We've got 59 inches, 150 centimetres, one metre 50 wide. And that's without stretching it, because obviously if you want to, you could stretch this out, pin down the corners, take down the corners, but I think what most people will probably do on a standard six by four table, this will cover the table and you will be able to just have it draping over the edges so the edges of your table are disguised. What a lovely thing that is from Cigar Box Battle. Um, obviously, <laughs> I would have thought, unless you wanted to recreate a particularly stormy sea, you wouldn't need to put any terrain underneath this mat to raise it up. I suppose you could if you wanted some really big waves, but you could just ruck up the cloth. So there you are. So that's the Caribbean Waters mat from Cigar Box Battles. And 
I'll put the details of the prices. I think it's about $75 plus taxes, postage to wherever you happen to be. But again, uh, huge thanks to Cigar Box Battles for sending that to me. I think it's absolutely lovely. See you again soon. Thank you.